I remember the music being really loud. I was in a huge convention center, every row filled with people. Pearl Jam was on. I was with my brother, uncle, and dad in Brooklyn, New York. Everyone was getting into the music, and surprisingly, to all of you, I joined them. This occurred about four years ago when I was nine years old. I am a rocker. People who first look at me do not realize that I'm a girl who likes ACDC, The Rolling Stones, The Beatles, Pearl Jam, and so on. They see rockers as people with tattoos and piercings, but I am both a rocker and regular student. Having a double personality often means having a double life. Bruce Wayne's alter ego is Batman, and to kill a mockingbird, Calpurnia's alter ego is her life back home in the quarters. Peter Parker's alter ego is Spider-Man. I may not be Batman or Spider-Man, but I too have a double life. Rock music is my double life. During the day, I'm a regular student, but at night, I'm Gene Simmons. As Elvis Presley said, rock and roll music. If you like it, if you feel it, you can't help but move to it. That's what happens to me. I'm a girl that studies for many hours and tends to be very conscientious about my grades. I intend to be very organized and usually have a plan for everything. I love to be busy and spend time with friends. But as soon as an ACDC song comes on, my alter ego reveals itself. I first realized my alter ego when I did a performance last year with a band. Before, I always thought of rock music as a hobby of mine. At my house, I had played bass guitar and drums, and I had sung for many hours, so I felt prepared when I arrived at School of Rock, a place where someone can learn to be a rock and roll musician. I was in a jam session, which met every Saturday. Over time, during rehearsals, I grew close with my bandmates. They were all really nice to me, and I started really to enjoy playing with a the band. These other kids were older than I and in high school, and they were really good. Soon, they accepted me as part of their band. As the weeks went by, I felt that we were performance ready and sounded great together. Part of being at School of Rock is performing. Our show would have songs from a movie called It Might Get Loud with rock and roll musicians from Led Zeppelin, The White Stripes, and U2. We are going to perform on stage at Revolutions, a bowling place at City Place. On the day of the performance, I woke up and was so excited, I freaked out. My body showed nothing of it, but inside I was a nervous wreck. I remember feeling the pain in my stomach because I was so nervous. I was excited because this was my first real performance in front of people, but also nervous because I could mess up at any moment. As we were plugging in the amplifiers, I noticed that my hands and my bandmates' hands were shaking. Our first song was One Tree Hill by U2, and because I was really good at this song, my nervousness became mixed with some confidence, and the pain in my stomach started to ease. The next thing I knew, I was up on stage jamming out with the band, completely forgetting the audience, because I was lost in the music. I lost my nervousness and rocked. Bob Marley once said, one good thing about music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. Not only did I feel no pain, I felt euphoria. That night it hit me, rock and roll music is my alter ego. I thought, always thought it was just a hobby before, but because of the intensity of that performance, I realized it was not just a hobby, but my alter ego. An alter ego is a second self, an alternative personality. Humanity is never fulfilled without an alter ego. Life would be just too boring and flat if everyone had the same personality all the time. In High School Musical, when Troy announced he was going to do musical theater, everyone went crazy. Soon, other students started to speak out about their alter egos, too. You can be a student and a baker. You can be a student and athlete. You can be an artist and a teacher. Everyone has an alter ego. You just need to find it. What makes you different? Thank you.